Hey guys, welcome back to the Simply Nice YouTube channel. Got a video that I'm pretty excited to be doing today. This is the top 10 budget knives, um, or sorry, the top 10 thumb stud budget knives. Uh, there's a lot, and my camera's a little bit uh, kind of close to the table, so it's hard to fit them all in here, but I got it with this mix-matched sort of setup that I got here. I guess this one should be down, right? Anyways, starting off, I guess, yeah, I guess these are in order from left to right. Um, although, once you get past here, it's kind of up to you. These ones are probably definitely the, the top five. So anyways, first one we got here, this is the San Ren Mu 7010. You can find this on like Amazon, stainless steel. Frame lock knife, pretty easy to maneuver, very, very sharp. Um, let's see if it lists the steel on here. D2 steel. Pretty solid. Yeah, 7010, you can see it on there. But yeah, this knife's pretty cool. It is a, I guess, a San Renmu sort of Sebenza design, which of course you know is a ripoff. Um, but obviously, this is not a Sebenza. No one's going to be trying to sell this as a Sebenza. But yeah, really good budget thumb stud option for about like 15 bucks on Amazon. Next one we got here. This is the CRKT Squid. Really fun, uh, fifth pocket friendly knife. Another stainless steel frame lock. This definitely seems like a, a good knife to be able to mod. Um, definitely just, I like the overall look of it. Uh, this model right now, I think it's still listed as like fourteen or fifteen dollars on Amazon. Although normally these run in the range of like twenty plus dollars. Uh, only had it for a little bit so far. Burnley design, really nice uh, little blade here. Pretty sure it's ACR thirteen MOV. It's not actually a blade marking unless I just can't find it. But yeah. Pretty sweet little knife, nice maneuverability, but it is on the lower end of this list because, I guess because it's so small, like when you're closing it, maybe it's just not as comfortable to, to close and maneuver and you gotta keep your finger off the lock bar and stuff like that, which is fine, but can be irritating. Next up, we got a QSP, this is the QSP Parrot. As you can see, pretty great action. Really flings out 440C steel. You can somewhat drop it shut. Pretty, very smooth. It's on uh, washers. The jimping up top here is very grippy. Really good neutral sort of er ergonomics. QSP has some great offerings. This one is $21. You can find them on Amazon. They have some other colors. Like the pink one, honestly, I think it's kind of cool. Be like a good gift for someone. It could be like your budget uh, dessert warrior or something. But yeah, really simple design. I like the look of it. And this one is just really simple to maneuver, super smooth. And I, yeah, I just like the simple design. I feel like you can really just sort of beat up on this knife. It's a good one. Next up, we got a another CRKT. This is the CEO. Um, I really, really like this knife. I love the deployment of it. And honestly, f for me, this is probably just like because of the action of this knife. It's like a, a top three budget thumb stud. However, I don't know. But it's... Ex that it's only that exclusively because of the design. So I feel like it wasn't right to put it in like the top three. But you know, of, of course it's gonna be on the top 10 list. This knife is really awesome. Once you get a handle of putting your uh, fingers in the right spot um, and you just have to hold it right and then move your finger in the right angle once you're putting some pressure on that thumb stud and it just rockets right out. So yeah. CRKT CEO looks amazing. Really, really great uh, snappy action. I think this has, this is a Rogers design. 
I believe this is 8 CR13 MOV, which you can't see. Um, yeah, super light blade, but you can actually get it to sort of fall shut. So I think this one's on bearings. CRKT CEO, really great option. I think you can get it probably about like $30. Next up, we have the Tangram Santa Fe. Did a review of this one a long time ago. It also, you know, much like the QSP Parrot here, you can, you know, have it fall shut. It's very, very smooth. It's on, uh, I believe, phosphor bronze washers. I like the feel of the G10, feels really good. Has a Japanese Akudo or Japan Akudo Steel, um, which, you know, I haven't um, done a ton of, like, edge retention testing, but from what I understand, it's pretty solid budget steel. Uh, the action on this is super good. I love how it just flies out there. Uh, definitely maybe a more interesting sort of blade design with that Warncliffe, the Tangram Santa Fe. Yeah, it's just really good. Um, got that deep carry pocket clip. I guess, you know, they could have executed that better. But um, another thing I really like about the Tangram Santa Fe is that the part that hits your thumb is not the blade, so it's not going to scuff you up. But yeah, this one's really good, and it's wicked sharp. Next up, and now we're getting into the, the most elite of the budget thumb stud knives. This is the CJRB Centros Dylan Mallory design, D2 blade steel. Um, yeah, I mean, this knife is just a real badass. Um, scales feel pretty good, really comfortable in the hand. The jimping's not overly aggressive. The, the parrot might be just a tad overly aggressive, but because it's small, it's not a big deal. But yeah, this jimping is pretty much perfect. Really like it. Um, it's got a pretty nice deep carry pocket clip. The action on this thing is amazing. Um, the only reason that this is listed, um, I guess, at the base of the top five is because the, the detent is really weak. You can shake it out really easily. So not, I guess that's not, you know, really not the best. If I had this in my pocket, I might worry that it might go and open up a tiny bit. Look at that, very stabby. But yeah, it's just a really great knife. This one, like, budget knife of the year in 2019, I believe, uh, by at least a few reviewers. And it definitely is worthy of that accolade. Next up, this one is truly phenomenal. This is the QSP Penguin, much like the uh, Tangram Santa Fe. When you're closing it, you get a piece that hits your thumb um, to, so that it, the blade itself doesn't hit your thumb. And also, w when you're at this position, your thumb, you know, it's nicely nestled in here, super comfortable. It's already past that detent, so you can just kind of shake it closed, which is great. Um, this one is on, I believe, Foster Bronze washers. You can open it a variety of ways. Super, super smooth. Uh... The micarta feels really good. It's like a very uh, smooth sort of feeling micarta. Kind of, you're gonna get be able to get your own sort of like patina ish type of thing on there. D2 blade steel, thirty bucks. Amazing action. Um, looks great while doing it. Oh, sorry. This is about twenty dollars. This is about thirty five to forty, and this one's thirty. But yeah, it's just a very very good all around budget knife option and of course it'll be one of the best thumb stud options that you could that you can get on the market especially in the budget realm and they have an s35 vn version of this that's out i believe it's probably all sold out by now it's uh, an exclusive from one of the dealers i'm just not exactly sure which one it is but this knife it's really great action it's so comfortable to maneuver i really love how your thumb just kind of like one when, when it's in this like crevice maybe uh there's it's very comfortable very very easy to close and when you're closing it it hits your thumb there it's already past the detent 
which makes it really easy to close. So that one is an amazing uh, option, the QSP Penguin, which is also my favorite animal, by the way. Next up, you guys should be well familiar with this one. We have both, oh, did I just cut myself? No, I didn't. We have both the small and the large versions of the CJRB Feldspar. I like the size of the small better, I and I honestly think it's a little more snappy as well. These have bearings. Um, yeah, they're running on bearings. D2 blade steel, and they're just really good knives overall. I think everyone is uh, familiar with these at this point. Look at the, the pocket clip, definitely an improvement on some of the other ones, actually. This is a really good pocket clip. As you can see, it's all the way at the end. But yeah, this pocket clip is very, very good. Um, this, you know, the, the screws on the, on the smaller one are sticking up. I'm not sure if all of them are like that or if this was just a earlier launch of the, of the mini one. Um, I like the size of the mini better. I feel like it has snappier action. The larger one is more comfortable in the hand and kind of, you can kind of just get like a better purchase of the grip. I guess you would compare it more to the size of the Centros. But yeah, CJRB just all around has some really um, amazing budget thumb stud knives. Let me just get these back in order. So yes, the Q, uh, sorry, CJRB Feldspar, a really, really phenomenal option. And these are about, I think, 30 to, to 40 dollars i think probably around 35. i got th this one right here on a deal for like 20 dollars which was awesome next up the one we know and love the rat 2. you could also throw the rat 1 in the same uh position i've never had a rat 1 yet unfortunately but yeah the rat 2 it just has some of the the way the way the rat opens up it just it's more satisfying than pretty much all of these, except for maybe these two for me. But yeah, the Rat 2, it's such a, a joy to be able to use, very easy, uh, flies right open, doesn't take much force at all, which is really nice. Um, and it's just, of course, a really great all-around option. Well-known in the EDC and knife community as a great beater knife. And it just, I mean, it, it obviously has earned its position. I just really like uh, the feel of it and the action of it and like feasibility of operating make this knife really, really awesome. And it is my second favorite of all of the budget thumb stud knives in terms of like that classification. And then finally, my personal favorite, this is the CJRB Rhea, which, in my opinion, is, I guess, the, and I think this is the budget knife of the year. I'll probably do a different video on that, but that's, you know, heavily influenced by my style and what I'm looking for in a knife. And of course, I'm a righty, so I'm going to like this knife a lot. But yeah, the CJRB Rhea, this has, you know, the pocket clip and the screws are all recessed. It's all the way back to the end. Good centering. Amazing, amazing action. Similar to the CRKT CEO. Yeah, the CJRB Rhea is just an amazing all-around knife. And they also have uh, a version of it that is a knife center exclusive. One of them has marbled carbon fiber and it's like contoured. It's all real, one piece of milled carbon fiber. That runs about 75 bucks. I really want it, but man, it's a budget knife. So 75 is just, it's just a lot. So I'm still considering it. I might eventually end up getting it, but we'll see. Uh, I will say this of all the knives here carries the absolute best in the pocket. Like it's so easy to slip in and out. The clip is uh, very well designed, looks good. Uh, I. They do have an upgraded titanium pocket clip, which looks freaking amazing. 
Um, the other Knife Center exclusive of the CJRB Rhea is the Pack of Wood variant. I want the Pack of Wood and the Marbled Carbon Fiber and this one. These have 12C27N steel. The, the other ones have their new proprietary steel, which is ARRP9, RPM9 or something. Something like that. Uh, and I'm told it's similar to 9CR13MOV, but it's powder formed and has better edge retention. Maybe even better than D2. I heard that in a different person's video recently. But I mean, I'm just going off the, off the rocker with my stats on steel. Like, I don't actually know. But yes, this is my favorite of all of the budget thumb stud opening knives. So let me know if I included your favorite in my top 10. Uh, let me know which of these would be your, or why not go ahead and list what your top three would be in the comments. I'm just curious to see what you guys think. I guess uh, these would be my top three. Although, just off personal preference, not not in terms of like, oh, I think like these are maybe better quality than some of the others. Um, but yeah, I love these ones. These are all my style. I love the micarta on the penguin, favorite animal. And then these two are both classy, sleek, amazing, very, very fly open action. Let me know what your guys' three favorites are. Literally every single one of these, it's not the right spot. Every single one of these knives is phenomenal. Um, and they all deserve a place in this top three list. And of course, you know, this is just my opinion. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, please throw a like for the YouTube algorithm. I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. On the road to 500 subscribers, we are at like 330 something, which is really awesome. I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night. Peace.